do y'all say we just go ahead and start this video out right? Uh, this ought to do it. <laughs> America! Yeah! Hey everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at you guys today with a video all about the top long guns from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Since Call of Duty Cold War just came out, like on this day of filming, uh, we're pretty excited to talk about the lineup from Modern Warfare. Now, also too, I want to hit on something really quick. If you guys aren't familiar with ClassicFirearms.com, go check us out. We are a one-stop shop for all of your Second Amendment needs, including firearms, ammunition. Even during this crazy time, we're doing what we can to try to get all the ammo that we can. Accessories, apparel, optics, like I said, everything you need for all of your 2A wants. And also too, we give away guns, like all the time. Currently giving away an FNM4. Maybe one day we'll give away this M107, and since we're talking about Call of Duty, if we were to collaborate with one of the real-life operators from Call of Duty Warzone, uh, who should that be? I got a couple ideas, but I want to hear from you guys down in the comments section. So, we've got today our lineup, and we're going to start off with the M107 shooting the 50 BMG. This guy is uh, known as the Raytech or Rytac AMR anti-material rifle, and uh, that's definitely an anti-everything-in-its-path type of uh, bullet for sure. And this guy is absolutely sweet. Barrett introduced this guy decades ago. It's still being utilized in the field today. And uh, I want to go mag dump it. Let's go do it. I know a lot of you guys probably see this Barrett 50 count and think, man, the recoil must be tough on that thing. Well, I'm here to tell you, this guy's a big baby. I mean, not for, <laughs> not for the target, but for the shooter, this thing is just, it's cake. Let's try it one-handed. There we go. Easy day. Let's go talk about the scar. The Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifle, also known as the SCAR, chambered in 762 NATO, made in 2004, designed in 2004, and FN came out with this beast, and it has been hugely popular for a lot of people, and uh, that includes a lot of you guys, because y'all love it when we give these away, and yes, we have given away a lot of FN SCARs, and uh, we don't plan on stopping, but what we've got right here is the one in that tactical black one. Of course, they got the FDE one that has like 50 shades of FDE. It also comes with a tactical side folding UGG boot, <laughs> like you see right there. All right, very cool guys. Again, chambered in 762 NATO, more of a battle rifle, right? Uh, being a full size or full power cartridge, 20 round box mag on it. And it's a heck of a lot of fun and it totally deserves a mag dump also. So uh, let's go do that. <laughs> oh yeah, now in real life, the SCAR 7.62 battle rifle is actually a very light recoiling rifle. Woo. And of course the game, it's like, you know, all over the place. But no, in real life, this thing's is freaking awesome, even with its tactical UGG boot and no attachments. Now let's go, uh, let's go talk about the Holger, or better yet, the T-36. And like I said, the Holger 26, or better yet, the HKG 36. But this is a civilian variant uh, that has been cloned. This is the Tommy built T36, chambered in 5.56. And uh, yeah, we've got the uh, 30 round mag conversion on it because, well, it's not an LMG in this, <laughs> this setup here. And guys, this thing was designed in the early 90s, still in production today, still in service today by many countries all across the world, chambered in 5.56. And uh, yeah, I am. So happy we've got this guy in the warehouse. Now let's take it to the range. So out here now with the T36 or Holger 26 or G36 clone and check out the magazine on it. So the magazines have these little coupling devices on them that this is an HK design that allows you to easily just couple them together. They got two, two rounds in each mag, bolt release right here. Let's just shoot a couple times here. <laughs> nice, let's just do that quick little reload, right? Sweet. Oh man, that is sweet. Now, if you want to see this guy in more action come uh, very soon, you better stay tuned and check out our future giveaways. <laughs> Let's go shoot the SP5. That 
That's right, the sub gun of everyone's dream, the MP5. But of course, we've got the uh, civilian pistol variant because laws suck. This is the HK SP5 with the pistol brace on it, and we've given away quite a few of these guys too, and y'all seem to love those giveaways. And uh, yeah, we've got this one equipped with the binary trigger on it as well. And uh, if you wanna know what a binary trigger is or does, well, let's just take it to the range and show you. First off, rule number one, when in possession of an HK, you must perform the HK slap. Rule number two, if you have a binary trigger, you need to show it off. So that way people know exactly what it is. So let's go ahead and show you guys. Semi, reset, just like any other gun, right? Binary, now it's gonna fire when I pull the trigger and release the trigger. Just like that. And that's the HK SP5, <laughs> which is awesome. Now, uh, what about an FAL? And up next, before it got nerfed, the FAL was everybody's CQB long gun to go to. Yes, yes, I said that. A 7.62 battle rifle was a great CQB gun in COD logic. But anyway, guys, the FAL is a great rifle. It's been around for a long time. And this has a following which of a bunch of people which just say there's none other like it. And they think the M14 is terrible, which we'll talk about later too. But anyway, this guy's awesome. 7.62 cartridge. And uh, this is actually the DS Arms SA58 Para side folding stock and uh, ultralight 18 inch barrel. Let's go shoot it. Let's have a little FAL magic here. Oh my goodness, this thing is sweet. Now it is a piston driven system, so a lot of gases are escaping out here. And uh, <laughs> right where I was riding my thumb, right here is the perfect escape for all of those gases. Uh, nice, cool little black thumb. So I'll call that just a FAL mark. Doesn't hurt or anything. It's just a nice, in this cool weather now, nice little warm gas feels good. But anyway, guys, the FAL is sweet. It's been around for a long time. And uh, you guys already know, we already talked about it, but uh, yeah, I absolutely love shooting these. And check out DS Arms, the SA-58 is super cool. And uh, now let's go talk about another cool little gun, the PS-90. Now we've got a gun here that's actually in real life and in the video game world, a great CQB gun. This is the FN P90S or PS90, whatever you wanna call it, which is the civilian variant, semi-auto variant of the P90. 50 round mag, chambered in 5.7 by 28, and uh, pretty much FN's, I guess you could say, intro into the PDW world, personal defense weapon, and that was to, to shoot the same caliber or same cartridge that the FN 5.7 does, which we haven't seen that since like Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 3. But anyway, enough about all that. Let's go shoot this guy. Oh yeah, little PDW here, guys. <laughs> Let's have some fun with this guy. <laughs> that is too much fun, guys. A little tiny thing. Now, the actual P90, the full auto uh, parent of this guy, I guess you could say, and the one that you know all the law enforcement military get to have fun with, this guy actually has a much shorter barrel that ends like right here, which is pretty cool. So if you play Call of Duty, then you already know what I'm talking about. You see that on there, one of the pickups you have in Warzone or whatever. But anyway, it's cool to get out here with the real guns and actually shoot them some. But uh, now let's go play with the uh, Striker, or also in real life, the SMG 45 by LWRCI. And now we've got the Striker 45, or in real life, the LWRCI SMG 45, and I love this gun. Land Warfare Research Corporation International came out with this little sub gun here. Takes the HK UMP mags, which is super cool, but they just pretty much took the HK UMP and in my mind, perfected it. I know a lot of you HK guys are like, the UMP is already perfect, how dare you say that? Well, whatever. But anyway, guys, this is, of course, a pistol variant with a pistol brace, and uh, this thing is absolutely sweet. Yes, we've given away these before, and we're probably gonna give away this one too, so always Check us out on all of our social media and classicfirearms.com because you don't want to miss out on it. And I don't want to miss out on any more range time with this guy. So let's go shoot this one. So the SMG 45 or the striker that's in the game, I think it's kind of funny, has an actual brace on it. 
Now, for those of you that already know the NFA laws and gun laws and stuff, you know that's kind of funny because a video game, you can put whatever the heck you want. But in real life, unless you SBR the guy uh, and file it through the ATF and all that kind of fun stuff, uh, it has to have a pistol brace. So to see it on the video game is kind of funny. Also too, the SMG 45 is a super cool gun. Now, it helps mitigate recoil by having like a reciprocating barrel, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and show that guy in action. How about it? Oh yeah, I absolutely love shooting this gun. Oh my goodness, yes. I love these guns, you guys. And uh, like I said, we've given away a few of these before, so you can probably only imagine what we're gonna do with this one. Anyway, on to the next one. Next up for our bullpup design here is the Ram 7 featuring the PBX7 Hollow. I sound like such a nerd. This is actually the IWI X95 Tavor 556 rifle with the Vortex UH1 holographic sight, guys. And like I said, this is also a bullpup, so it's got the firing mechanism and the magazine behind the trigger group. And this thing by IWI has been around since the late well, I want to say 2009, I want to say. But uh, anyway, this thing is an absolute beast. A heck of a lot of fun to shoot. Complete ambi controls. And uh, yeah, let's just go show you how much fun it is to shoot. The gun with many names, the Ram 7, the TAR-21, the X95, or simply just the IWI Tavor is what we've got here. And uh, it's a bullpup. And we may have explained this already, but if not, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again. A bullpup, guys, remember that the firing mechanism, where the magazine is inserted, all that stuff is taking place behind the trigger group. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's shoot it. <laughs> Can never get tired of that. These things are so much fun. Oh, I like these guns. I like doing this, but uh, Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This is probably gonna be one of the most popular because it is around the world, probably the most popular, the AK. The AK-47, but of course what we've got here today are two different variants, right? And uh, if you're <laughs> going based off of the COD logic, we've got the RPK barrel here, the 23 inch RPK barrel and the LMG field stock. And of course we just got the base AK guys, but this is actually the Zastava M70, which has that nice thicker bulge trunnion to it, chrome line barrel, which is really sweet. And uh, the FSS close quarters, stock if that's what you want to call it you know aim down sight speed all that stuff anyway but yeah if you actually want to see what a traditional just run-of-the-mill wood stock wood foreign looks like you can take a look at this m70 we have up here beautiful rifles they shoot great and uh, i say we go shoot these ones got the fin barrel on our ak class here just kidding this is actually the james river armory m72 and uh let's have some fun with this guy <laughs> oh yeah, so first off, you'll probably notice with that nice heavy barrel at the end of this guy here and that 762 by 39 cartridge that the AK shoots, very light recoiling. It is super easy to stay on target with these guys and that's why they were pretty much set up as light machine guns because you could have nice accurate fire for suppression and allow those troops to move forward. Pretty sweet, right? Now let's actually go grab the uh, AK, but it's actually a Stava M70. Let's shoot that guy. Oh, let's go for it. How about it? <laughs> oh yeah, what's that? 40 round mag unlock? Dang right. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. And yes, we actually have the Bulgar Bulgarian 40 round mag and uh, it has a little bullet imprints and everything, right? So the AK, AKM, AK-47, this is actually, there's a Stava M70, which we've already talked about. And uh, I really love this rifle. And check out Zastava, they make great stuff. Whew. All right, what do y'all say we go play with a suppressed AR? Monolithic suppressor, of course. And 
Now we've got everybody's favorite here, the M4A1, which was totally OP in the first few months, and it's still pretty good the way it is. But in real life, yeah, these things absolutely rock. All right, and just to let you guys know, what you see right here is an exact clone of what's still issued today, what I'm issued in the United States Marines reserve side. Uh, but what we've got here is an FN M4A1 military collection clone shooting real bullets with a real Trijicon ACOG on it. And this thing is absolutely sweet. And of course, you can get your entries in to win it for free at ClassicFirearms.com. What we have over here is my personal Colt M4 uh, clone. And uh, this guy's got all the attachment slots full, monolithic suppressor, Corvus barrel, Merc grip, canted optic, canted scope, and the uh, stippled grip, right? I'm such a nerd. What we've actually got here is the Surefire SOCOM 556 suppressor. We do have a what's called the profile barrel on this guy here with the carbine length gas system, Streamlight light. Uh, this is the ProTac light setup on it, which has a cool little pressure pad right up top, which is very nice. Tango down vertical grip also offers a very stable shooting platform. And then the Trijicon RMR is a 45 degree offset. So if I don't want to use my magnified ACOG, which has a four power magnification to it, all I have to do is just it a little bit now I've just got a red that I can focus on great for closer up engagements right also to b5 system stock this is their soft mod enhanced stock which has the battery compartments on it and also the enhanced grip which has a little bit better grip angle a little bit more ergonomic and I highly recommend just about everything I've talked about here so make sure again you're going to classicfirearms.com uh, to shop for all of this and also get your entries in for the m4 here just in case you're watching this in the future this giveaway may have already come to an end but fear not, we're probably giving away the Holger 26, excuse me, the Tommy Built T36 based off of the HK G36. Probably giving that one away right after this one, maybe, I don't know. And uh, if it's not that one, then it's probably some other sweet giveaway. Maybe it's a Maximum maximum Defense PDX, maybe it's another Knight's Armament or an M1 or who, who knows, you know? So just go check us out, classicfirearms.com. Now let's go shoot these guys. Oh yeah, the M4 with my offset hybrid, right? So let's go magnified. Just a quick little transition from magnified to offset, makes it so easy. And uh, that was only five rounds in there because, well, I know what you guys really wanna see. You wanna see this guy suppressed, right? Surefire SOCOM 556, <laughs> or as the game likes to call it, the monolithic suppressor. Let's load this guy back up. Now let's have some fun. Now you might be hearing the impact of the bullet on the target. Let's just do it into the dirt so you can actually hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Man, that gets a little gassy though. Woo. There we go. Oh, that is way too much fun. The M4 guys, it's a great, great, great platform. And we've got another M4, the FN M4, but if you actually wanna see that one all the live fire you could ever ask for, then go check out our unveil video for that one being our giveaway. Of course, that link will be down in the bio or just head on over to classicfirearms.com and it'll be one of the ways to get your entries. Now, uh, let's go finish this movie, or this movie, right? Let's go finish this video out with some honorable mentions. Yeah, the Mark II carbine you see right here has done more than enough damage to me and what we've got laying out on the table are uh, all of our, I guess you could say, little shout outs, honorable mentions, because all of these we didn't really feature in the main video, but I don't play with them a lot in Call of Duty, but I still get wrecked by just about every last one of these and it makes me so mad. By the way, who remembers Modern Warfare 2 Akimbo 1887 shotties? If you do, just go ahead and drop a like. Anyway, guys, what we've got here is the Mark II carbine set up as the uh, one of the sniper rifles, and uh, but it's actually a 4570 Marlin 1895, same gun used by Chris Pratt in Jurassic World. It's great for taking out T-Rexes. It really is. But anyway, got this guy up because it is absolutely a beautiful rifle in real life and I hate it in Call of Duty. Also too, I also hate the K98 in Call of Duty, but I love it in real life as well. Shooting an eight millimeter Mauser action, of course. And it is, again, just a classic rifle. Whew, beautiful rifle, guys, so very good. Now, the next one we're gonna talk about here is technically in Call of Duty, a SMG, but we've got the 5.56 30 round mag conversion on it. But also in real life, this is the Steyr AUG STG 77. And uh, this guy shoots, yes, in real life, a 5.56 cartridge. And uh, it can actually use standard AR style magazines or its own proprietary mag. 
and uh, this one does come with the included one and a half power optic and guys these things are so much fun to shoot i really enjoy this also another bullpup design all right next two we've got up this one's kind of a lie this isn't a dragon off we just have it here because it looks similar this is actually a psl and no i know the season's coming up it's not a pumpkin spice latte it is a 7.62 by 54 rimmed cartridge shooting rifle made to pretty much more of a DMR class, right? Because it's set up to shoot and engage targets further than what your standard like AK, AKM, AKM can engage. Really great setup and uh, I don't do a whole lot of sniping in Call of Duty, but you know, it is what it is. Also too, we've got <laughs> the 7.25, which just absolutely plagued Modern Warfare when it first came out. I absolutely hate this gun, but again, in real life, it's pretty freaking awesome. This is the Atta Arms, of course, and uh, a lot of fun. Last gun I wanna talk about is actually the EBR M14 also. I am a huge fan of that platform, but that's pretty much what you see right here. Scout setup, right? But anyway, I think that's pretty much gonna conclude our entire video today all about COD guns. Now, of course, if you guys wanna do an entire separate video on pistols we've got a few of them laying around we've got a 357 colt python we've got a 50 ae desert eagle i know we've got 1911s i mean look there's the damascus skin for it right there on the case hardened one over there we've got the renetti or the m9a3 uh what else is there there's a glock there's a sig there's the m17 there's all that kind of kind of fun stuff so just yeah just let let us know down in the comments uh what do you want to see next and if you guys do play Feel free to add me. Let's play sometime. Magdump underscore Morgan is what you can find my uh, little gamer tag or whatever the heck it's called. And uh, don't forget to get your entries in for the FN M4. Just because we give away guns, you should probably go ahead and give us a like also. But the FN M4A1 clone with the Trigicon ACOG is our current giveaway. Get your entries in at ClassicFirearms.com. For those of you new to our entries, hey, it doesn't take any purchase necessary to get entered. And on top of that, it's not who has the most entries. It's a random number generator. All it takes is one. But of course, the more entries you have, the better your chances. And if you don't win, excuse me, if you don't enter, you can't win. All right. So again, head on over to classicfirearms.com. God bless you guys. And we'll see you soon.